I run into parents all the time who are worried about their kid becoming more violent when they train jujitsu. And the, what I would say to those parents every time is that it's the opposite. It actually mellows them out. I've had kids that were being bullied by somebody turn it around and all of a sudden now the bully's taking classes with them alongside now they're buddies. The world doesn't need more managers, people just, you know, higher up telling other people what to do. The world needs more leaders, the world needs more people who are in those positions who are there not to just tell people what to do, but they're there to look out for everyone in their charge. Idealistically, we can, we can kind of steer them in the right direction and really help them become a lot better people. Like hopefully their life path is significantly better from doing martial arts. My name is Miley Partridge. I train at Legacy Martial Arts. Here, I'm in my stance. I take a step forward, drop my knee, grab the legs, come up to both feet, drive on top. Just like this. Everyone got that? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. We used to watch UFC all the time. We still usually do. And I was like, well, I'm gonna do that when I grow up. Then I started to do jiu-jitsu, because most of them do. And I really li started liking that. And then I thought that I would just, jiu-jitsu would be something I did. But I would really like doing boxing and kickboxing. But now I started to like, as I start to do it more, I've started to really like jiu-jitsu more than that. I'm uh, JP, Metal Miley's dad. <laughs> I'm Liz, I'm Miley's mom. So it's a funny story. Um, she um, started dance when she was about three or four years old. And um, probably about three years into it, couple months into the year, every time she would be like, I'm so bored. Mom, I don't want to go to class. And so it made it really miserable for us because then it's like, oh my God, we have to take you to class, you know, and you don't want to be yeah, there. Figure out how to talk her into going. Right. And um, so we've always been the parents that, you know, if they commit to something, they're going to finish it. And so we would tell her, well, you have to finish. You've got to make it through recital. Dances have been choreographed. It's not fair to the rest of the group. And um, every year at recital, she'd be like, oh my God, that was fun. I think next year I want to add tap or next year I want to do lyrical. So finally, after probably two years of that, we were both like, no. <laughs> I mean, I remember sitting at dinner after recital and she's like, next year I want to do lyrical. And I was like, no, we're done. When I was like really little, my nanny owns a dance studio. So like I did dance since I was like four till about nine. And then as I started to get older, I started not to like it. And then I think when I was four, I did t-ball. And then I don't think I had time for that because I was doing dance. Dance, I guess, wasn't really something that I... I guess jujitsu is more of like, I feel like I could do something with that when I grow up. Like if I wanted to, I could do jujitsu for the rest of my life. She had been asking about kickboxing. That was kind of what her interest was. And at that time, we had just moved to Edmond. We were in Guthrie before and there weren't a ton of options there. So um, actually a physician that I work with, who's a really good friend of ours, um, I called him up and I was like, hey, Miley's been you know, talking about doing kickboxing where do you recommend that we start? And um, he said, I will give you two recommendations, um, both very different programs. They both have their intricacies. They're both really great programs. Um, his kids um, had used one of the schools. And so we just reached out to Professor Rader and um, he was our first 
um, one that we went to and she did her trial class and we've been in it since then. <laughs> we thought she'd be there about a week. Yeah. And here we are almost two years and she's still, well, now she's a coach and yeah. competing all the time and it's what, it's what we do. Hands on her hips, not on her chest, Caleb. Let go of her lapel. Let go of her lapel and put it on her hip. Patient, patient. Caleb, let go of her lapel. Patient. Yes, got it. Yes, that was nice. Stick through, keep side Nice through. job. Good job. Good job, girl. Good job. <laughs> she she has always been what you see today. I mean, I I'd, I'd like to sit here and say that she's one that started jujitsu and that's where she got her confidence and everything from. But she's always been a very outgoing person. She's never met a stranger. I think that the confidence that she's yes gotten sure. from jujitsu has helped. Um, but she's always been outspoken. I mean, I remember when she was like two years old, I was in Target one day and she, the woman checking out behind me, she was like, hi, new grandma. And I'm like, oh my God, that woman's like five years older than me. Liz came home mortified. I was so mortified, yeah. but she, she doesn't know a stranger. Like she is just kind hearted. And if she can like make someone's day by saying something funny or She's going to do it. This is mine. These are all my medals. And then I have more up there. Uh, these are my squish. <laughs> I have so many of them. But, yeah, and then I have some art supplies here. And then a random hanger. Some art supplies here that just, like, fill all the way to the bottom. And these were like the first Legos that I got. I really, really do like Marvel. Honestly, did I even watch it before I went to Legacy? Not really. Yeah, I didn't ever really watch it. And then like when I started to go to Legacy, we all watched Marvel. And now I'm like obsessed with it. And mainly Captain Marvel, cause she's my superhero. Session that her and her papa got started. My antique comic book. They go all the way down to the bottom. And then some more right here. And then I have sleeves for them, a whole bunch of little fat things. And then baby lotion, of course. <laughs> I think Uncle Lane got me this actually. That's Blue Dog and it's not very good. <laughs> the flower, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, this was one of the really cool ones that I did. I really like doing these drawings. That, which was supposed to be something else, but it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it. That came off. <laughs> and this, which was like a sunset thing, which actually turned out pretty good. I like it. <laughs> no! Her first art that she brought home to us. <laughs> And when she brought it home, she was so angry at us because she was so proud of what she had drawn and she couldn't figure out why we were laughing. We were laughing so hard. <laughs> she was like, is it ugly? The old birch tree. It's beautiful. I come out here every day and work out. I draw on my dummy. Then I use all of this stuff to work out. My slam ball, basketball, a whole bunch of different stuff. And right now we have my bag down. It usually goes up there. But we took it down because I saw a drill, and then I do that sometimes on it. I was gonna do it before I broke my toe, but then I couldn't do it. <laughs> I think that, you know, when she first started, so she was, she was about two months into um, training with Raider when the first tournament option came up in Oklahoma. And um, she was like, professor's talking about this. I want to do it. And I'm like, dude, we've been doing this for two months. Are, are you serious? And she's like, yeah. And, and so she asked Professor Rader about it. And he was like, well, let's probably wait. Let's have you go and, and watch, you know? And um, 
to me when she was like, she actually went to him and said, you know, I, th I want to do it. And he goes, you know, I'm just concerned. You haven't seen it before. And, and she said, at least I'm learning and I'm getting the experience. Cool. So you think you're going to do good? Yeah. Cool. Miley, um, 18 year old Miley at this <laughs> point. Uh, it's your dad speaking. Hopefully, you can, can see that. I um, just want to say I'm super proud of you. I'm sure by now you're, who knows, probably world champion by now, uh, close to being a black belt. Um, I hope you know the impact that you've had on tons of kids' lives and uh, mine. I uh, just wanted to say I love you, kid. Man, kid, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you and. Um, I hope that you have continued chasing your dreams and just continue to be kind and um, I just think of, I saw a quote one time that says, you know, in a world where um, everyone is telling you what your body should look like and um, Jiu Jitsu is, is about teaching, you know, what making you proud of what your body can do and you're at that point right now almost 12 years old and I hope that that continues um, over your martial arts journey and um, we are so proud of you and we just want you to continue making a positive impact um, everywhere that you can with everyone you encounter and continue to chase your dreams and we love you. I can be a leader and I can like teach other kids. I guess that I did realize that I was stronger than I thought I was and it's jujitsu is something that honestly I didn't really like I said earlier I didn't think I would do it I didn't think I would like really like it but I as soon as I had like my first sparring round I like
like fell in love with it. And jujitsu is just basically my whole life. 